What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to talk about uh, the best ways to start investing your money as a young person. Um, the first time I ever did this, I was only 18 years old. From what I learned, I felt old. Like I felt like I could have done this sooner. I could have started this earlier and start to build my money up from a younger age. I recommend starting it as soon as possible because the earlier you start, the more money you're going to make over time. I'm planning on going over two apps that I use to invest, buy stocks, all that sort of stuff. Um, and I'm actually going to throw in one bonus one in there that I think is really great to use as well. So let's hop right into this video so I can go over my three favorite apps to use when it comes to investing. All right, so the first app I got here is Robinhood. This is actually the app that I would say I use the most when it comes to investing money. Um, I'll kind of walk through how it works a bit. I have just under $6,000 invested here. If you look down the list, I have a bunch of different stocks. I'm not really gonna go into depth on all of them, but it gives you so many opportunities to get different stocks, you know, test things out. And if you look on here, over the last three months, I've made almost $2,000 back. But yeah, so it shows all my stocks on here. And one thing I like the most is that you can customize it so that you know it'll either show the ticker price on the right side you can also or the last price what it's currently selling at you can see the percentage of change so how it's changed just today you can also see your equity so how much money you own in that stock you can also see today's return so how many how much money um, that stock has grown in that single day total returns how much money you've made in that stock over time and lastly, the total percentage change, so how much that stock's grown. So as you can see on here, some of them have done really well, some not so much. This, this is another great thing, is the breakdown of the, of the stock as it shows its price change over time. Um, you can see how many shares you own in it, um, the market value, the average cost, so that's about the price per share that you bought it for, and the market value is its current price multiplied by all the shares that you have. Um, today's return's obviously gone down a bit of money, but um, the total return, I've made about $84 on it, which is pretty cool, just from a single stock. Here we got Avenger, which has, um, I bought it, I bought in at about 55 cents per share, got about 40 shares of it, and it's more than doubled, $1.37 a share. So, not a whole lot with that one. I think my favorite one that I have on here so far that's probably grown the most, um, it's called Gush. What was cool about this one is I have about 25 shares averaging just under $29 a share. Um, I invested in a little while back and it's gone up to almost $50. Um, and the total return I've made almost $500 just from this stock alone. Obviously the difference between trading and investing, I think Robinhood is definitely a good app for both. Um, you can trade easily and invest. So if there's companies here that you wanna invest in long-term, it's definitely great for that. But if you wanna become a day trader, you know, look into that kind of stuff, it's also really good for that as well. You know, it's easy to buy and sell, as I mentioned earlier, you know, it gives you that trade button on the bottom. But um, yeah, really a lot of great features on this app. And then searching, you can browse through, you can type in, let's say, Apple. You wanna see Apple stock, you can search that up really easily. Um, it gives you a bunch of categories as well, which I really like. So, you know, if you wanna look for a specific category, ETFs, real estate, all that sort of stuff, really cool. Um, it also shows you the top movers of the day. So, for example, this one's gone up 93%, and it shows you, you know, the whole price as the day's gone on. And then your profile kind of gives you like a breakdown of everything that, you know, you own. So, for me, I have about 58% ETFs, 40% stocks, and 2% crypto. So, I think that this one's really great. If you want to get started on Robinhood, start investing early. I will be putting a link in the description below um, for you to get started on there. Right when you open an account, it'll actually give you one free stock. I think. It's amazing, you know, you get free stocks just by doing this. You don't even have to put any money into it. Literally the moment that you open the account, you'll get a free stock. That's about it with Robinhood. Um, if you guys do have any questions about this one, make sure to put it in the comment section below and I'll make sure to touch on those in a future video. Um, but now we're gonna hop over to the second app that I'm going over when it comes to investing, which is Webull. All right, now for this second app, um, it's called Webull. I really like Webull as well. I think it's really easy to maneuver, really easy to operate. Both apps are really great. Um, with Webull, I don't have as much money invested in as, as you can see, only about $945. So over on the right side at the top, you, it shows open P&L. Um, what that means is since I've opened this account on Webull, it's my profit and loss. So it shows on here, I've gained about $522, which is an increase of about 123%. I've invested about a little over half of the money that you're currently seeing, and I've doubled that amount. What I've done, and this is just a normal uh, brokerage account, um, it gives you other options, like as you can see on here, it says Roth IRA. And, you know, if you're ever interested in that, 
a really cool option as well. Cool feature that I like about it is quick trade. So you go in here, you type in whichever symbol, uh, let's say Apple for example, and then it shows you a bunch of information. You can see um, Apple just today, over the last five days, over a week, over a month. So you can see the growth and the change of the app. What's different about this one though on Webull is it actually shows you the candlesticks instead of just like a line. So it's a bit more accurate in that sense where it shows you the, the maximum, minimum, you know, those values of the stock um, at specific times. So, you know, you gotta be able to understand that to look at this. This. With my portfolio on here, um, I've invested in a couple of stocks. We got Marathon, which has grown about $300. So I've gained a little over $300 just from that stock alone. Bought in when it was about um, just under $4 and it's now up at $24.50. So that's really cool. All the gains that I have on here have outweighed the losses. So I definitely recommend this is a great one for that. Um, and some other cool features about it, um, you can add a watch list. With the watch list, you can see, you know, add any stocks that you want to, you know, check in on the daily, see how they're doing without actually buying them. So it won't show up in your portfolio, um, but it'll still show up on here. It shows you just markets overall. So you see Dow Jones, S&P 500, um, NASDAQ. So these three, just a bunch of big different markets. You can see cryptocurrencies. Um, Bitcoin, I know, has been huge recently. It reached an all an all time high, just below 42,000. So that's really cool. Um, not really into crypto as much, but if you are, great app for that. And then global. So you can see other economies as well. Um, so yeah, Weevil really is a cool place, you know, for experienced investors um, or even for beginner investors to, you know, start somewhere and, and learn a bit more about the stock market. You also see uh, top gainers, so pre-market, aftermarket, um, just in the last day, top losers as well. You can see which ones have done the worst, most active, so whichever one has the most volume coming in. You see hot ETFs. So again, it gives you guidance. So if you don't know where to start, I think this one does a really good job of giving you guidance. Like, hey, you know, these ones are a good place to start. I think ETFs are always a really Really good place to initially invest and another cool thing about Webull to click on explore if there's a specific stock or category that you want to look into it has that internet gaming for example if we click on this um, it shows a bunch of those on here high dividend yield bank stocks that's a really good one all in alphabetical order but you can organize it however you want what I think is really cool that I like the most about Webull is you'll actually get two free stocks when you set up your account and once you deposit a hundred dollars on your account in Webull you'll actually get another two free stocks there so you'll get a total of four free stocks all you have to do is sign up for it. So click that link down below and get started. Now I'm gonna hop into the next app that I think is a really cool option to start investing. Okay, so the last app that I want to talk about is called Acorn. Um, as you can see, here's my account right here. I have about $1,300 invested. First one, invest for your future. And the way this one works is first you set up a portfolio, how you would rate your investment style. So you've got aggressive, moderately aggressive, which I have mine set under, moderate, Mod moderately conservative and then conservative. So they, they invested into different things based on that. It's all about long-term investments here. Um, but again, so you set your different portfolio. And another cool thing about this app that I really like is you don't even have to put any money into the account. It does that for you. So um, there's a setting on here called roundups. The way roundups work is it rounds up money. So you actually connect it to one of your cards, whether it be your credit card, debit card, any of your bank accounts. And what happens with that is every time you make a purchase, say you buy something from Target and the total ends up being $5.75. With that remaining money to the whole dollar, it will take that extra 25 cents, basically rounding it up to $6 and invest that money. With every purchase you make, it'll take that remaining balance from that roundup and compile it together. And once it gets $5 with you know all your purchases, it invests. And then recurring, you can also set it up so that um, you know, it'll invest money each month. So I actually have it where um, for once a month, it'll invest $35 into this account. If you're investing once a month, you know, your money's going in here and it's staying in there long term, um, which I think is something really great. You, know, you get money from dividends. Um, and right here it shows the performance. So with the money that I've put in here, um, it's grown about $217. It does show in here in the last 30 days how much money you invested. Then later, um, kind of like an IRA or a 401k, if you know what that means. This one, I only invest $20 per month. The breakdown is a bit different. You don't really have the option to choose you know, which strategy it actually does it for you based on your age. So that one's really cool. Um, and another cool feature about Acorns is there's an earn money feature. So, you know, every time you make a purchase, let's say from Groupon, 6%, you make a purchase on Groupon through this app. So you click on Groupon um, and it'll take you to the Groupon app. If you make a purchase through there, it gives you 6% money back 
that goes into the investment accounts. And then here's another really cool feature that I like um, is it shows your um, investment potential and it shows up at the top how much money you're putting in and how much is returned. So the return is what you're getting from the investment and the investment is how much you're putting in. But if we go all the way up to, let's say 63, this number is what shocks me the most. If I hold my money in there until 63, I don't take any of it out, I keep it in there as it grows, I will have only invested 36,000, which is still quite a bit of money. I will have put $36,000 into the account and gotten 146,000 back. That number right there is almost four times the amount that was put into the account. So I think this is also a really great app, super user-friendly, really good for beginning investors. Um, so yeah, I think that's also a really good one. But regardless of which app you choose to use, I think that investing is just a huge thing that you need to get started on, especially at an earlier age. The earlier you start, the more potential there is. So if there's one thing I recommend, if you learned anything from this video, it should be to go open an investment account. You know, if you're young, talk to your parents about opening one. All the money that you saw there, I expect for it to stay in there for years down the road and still grow. And I hope that in 20, 30, 40 years, I can come back, you know, react to this channel, be like, hey, Jack, this is how much money you made from it. But regardless, you know, I really hope you got a lot out of this video. I will have links to send you to these apps so that you can get downloaded, get started with the investment. So I really recommend that you guys do that. I want you guys to be financially literate. I think that's really an important part, you know, about your teenage years, about your 20s as growing and learning. I think these are important things. So go check those out. Make sure you get invested. And also hit that like and subscribe button. I appreciate you guys. I hope this video helped. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out. Go make some money. Do it. You won't regret it.